Hi students, shall we start our session 2 of chapter 1? Today's learning objectives are Write reasons for using a chemical equation and balance chemical equation by writing. Learn to write these keywords without any spelling mistake. Review of question answers of session 1. Kindly pause the video and check your answers. Dear students, now kindly write the following table in the back of your notebook. What does it represent? It shows chemical formula of different elements. You can add more examples to it. Now tell me, why do we use a chemical formula? A chemical formula gives information about the specific elements present in a molecule. They are represented by their symbol. The number of atoms of each element and it is indicated by a subscript number written together with the symbol. What happens when magnesium ribbon is burnt? When it is burnt in oxygen, magnesium oxide is formed. But it is a long form to represent. How can we express a chemical reaction in the simplest way? It is through equations. Magnesium plus oxygen gives magnesium oxide. This is word equation. It means the equation represented using words. LHS shows reactants and RHS shows products. Arrow mark shows direction of the reaction. How can we convert a word equation to chemical equation? By representing the elements and compounds using chemical formula. Examples are as follows. Magnesium plus oxygen gives magnesium oxide. Hydrogen plus oxygen gives water. Calcium plus oxygen gives calcium oxide. Hydrogen plus chlorine gives hydrogen chloride. Note that here we just use chemical names of the reactants and products. And one important thing, refer the periodic table for name, symbol, and atomic number of different elements. Make sure you know the chemical names and symbols of elements at least up to atomic number 20. Display the periodic table in your study room today itself for better learning. Now think and write in the back of the notebook. It is a review you have already learned about it. The hint is electronic configuration. Law of conservation of mass states that mass can neither be created nor be destroyed. It means Total mass of reactants and total mass of products should be same or in other words, number of atoms of each element remains the same before and after a chemical reaction. Now ask yourself, is there a need of balancing a chemical equation? Why? The given equations are unbalanced. Why? The mass is not same on the both sides of the equation. It is called a skeletal chemical equation. Now tell me, what is a chemi skeletal chemical equation? A chemical equation which is not balanced is called a skeletal chemical equation. Not balanced means the number of atoms on left side and right side are not same. Or in other words, the mass is not same on both sides of the equation. So it is a skeletal chemical equation. In the next video, I will explain how to balance a chemical equation. Today's summary is given as follows. Kindly go through it. Thank you for watching the video. Bye.